Mike? And Bill, we have some batches of heavy rain moving through the metro. We're watching these storms here in the northern neck. Starting to see some minor broad rotation near Miller's Tavern and also near Champlain. So we're going to keep an eye on. We'll have your full holiday weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. And welcome back. Uh, that storm they were talking about right before break. We actually had a severe thunderstorm warning issued and now just in the past few seconds, a tornado warning has been issued for the area that you see there. We'll clear the screen and show you that uh, magenta box. That's where we have the tornado warning. It was just issued about 15 seconds ago. That's until 745. It's for Essex, Lancaster, Middlesex in Richmond counties. We're watching this area of rotation right here just west of Oakley and um, that was what we were pointing to right before the commercial break. So we'll zoom in on that. And this is the rotation area they were watching right here near Howerton Road, just to the northeast of Stevensville. It's just north of Liberty Hall Road and to the west of Route 17. So that's where the potential tornado warning is, or the potential tornado in the tornado warning. This is what we were talking about right before the break. We're also watching this other area of rotation here up near Champlain, so that bears some watching as well. Uh, but for this right here, we've been watching this, you know, just in the last few minutes. And with this particular cell, it's moving towards the east at 35 miles an hour. So we'll put a storm track on that circulation. So east at about 35 miles an hour, if it continues on this the same exact path, it would bring it to um, about the lane view area by 723, so about nine minutes from now, sharps by 727, fair play by 735. So in that part of our viewing area, that's where we have the potential tornado right now. In terms of your tornado warning precautions and safety, uh, make sure you take shelter in a basement or the lowest level possible. Put as much space between you and the outside walls as possible. Use a closet, a hallway, or bathroom and stay away from windows. And if you have time, abandon uh, mobile homes and seek, seek sturdier shelter now. But that tornado warning goes for about another 30 minutes and it's for this area moving into the northern neck. A tornado warning just, just, just a little while ago. It includes Essex, Lancaster, Middlesex, and Richmond counties. And this storm has been showing some rotation for about 10 minutes or so. This is what we were showing to you uh, just a little bit while ago before the break. The potential rotation right here west of Oakley. So that's where the potential circulation is just east of Stevensville. And to give you a few other areas, there's Howerton Road and then Liberty Hall Road to the south. And just to the east, that is Route 17. So that's the potential area of circulation. This is what it looks like on the conventional radar. And it's giving us one of those telltale hooks Hook echoes right there west of Oakley. So that's where our potential tornado is. The tornado warning goes for another 30 minutes. And we've been watching these different lines of storms from the past couple of hours. And um, we've had a few thunderstorms that actually hit the northern neck around 2 o'clock today. And we have potential uh, possible tornado in Westmoreland County. The stuff that's moving through the Richmond metro area currently, this is just some heavy rain. There may be a little bit of thunder and lightning embedded within that, but that is not severe. In fact, as we take a look at a velocity scan, there's really nothing that's standing out until you get over to where this tornado warning is. And there's the uh, velocity couplet right there west of Oakley. It is not a very strong couplet, not a strong signature, but it is a signature nonetheless. So that is where the potential tornado is right now. And there's the current view. And again, where this notch is right here, that's where we have the uh, potential tornado circulation there. It will be moving into Oakley in the matter of just mere minutes. It looks like it's gonna go just south of Dunsville. If you're watching us from Sharps, make sure you take your tornado precautions now. You have a few minutes to prepare but now is the time to get into your tornado shelter, lowest level away from windows, interior wall. And if you have time, 
move out of a mobile home and seek sturdier shelter. You do not want to be in a mobile home if a tornado is moving into your area. Uh, this will move farther into the northern neck over the next 30 minutes. We'll have to keep an eye on Farnham and over towards Lancaster as well. Route 3, that area that we're talking about there. So we have not only some heavy rain and some strong winds in this entire thunderstorm complex up by like Dunsville and just east of Tappahannock up towards Warsaw, but that area that we've been watching is where we have the circulation west of Oakley. We are going to stay here on CBS 6 since this is a tornado warning within our viewing area. We're going to stick with coverage for the time being until the warning's over. That's our uh, policy here at CBS 6. So the tornado warning continues until 745, the potential circulation right near Oakley. And we, you know, we take all tornado warnings seriously, but we want to give this a little extra emphasis because it wasn't too long ago that we had the EF2 a uh, tornado that was near Lewis Seta a few weeks ago, and we had one potential uh, circulation near uh, in Westmoreland County earlier today. So uh, a lot of the area has not seen severe weather today. It's just been rain, some thunder, some gusty winds, uh, and even some small hail in some locations. But now we have another storm in the eastern part of our viewing area that has been showing some circulation. Um, and so far, this is actually just uh, radar indicated. We don't have any uh, ground confirmation of the tornado. And when I mentioned it, it was just issued a little while ago. It was issued at 712, about seven minutes ago. So this tornado warning, it continues until 745. The storm cell is moving east at 35 miles an hour. And where that potential circulation is just west of the town of Oakley, that will continue tracking towards the east and the northeast. So we'll take that circulation out a little bit more and stays on this general path that would bring it to sharps in less than 10 minutes um, and Robley by about 740. So there are your times of arrival center cross just within about the next 30 seconds or so. Um, so this area that you see here in the magenta box, this is where the tornado warning is. That orange box is a severe thunderstorm warning that surrounds it. So we have this complex of thunderstorms working through that area, but it's this band of uh, circulation here, this rotation west of Oakley. It kind of looks like in the last scan or two, it's gotten a little more broad. So it looks like maybe the intensity is weakening a tiny bit. Francis, you can chime in if you're seeing uh, anything else in your analysis as well. I agree. I think it's becoming um, a little bit wider. And the other rotation that we were looking um, that was near Champlain um, yeah. has also become really disorganized. OK, that's all good news. But, but uh, yeah, this area that we're watch watching here, Howerton Road to right essentially in downtown Oakley. And this is moving just south of Dunsville. It's heading towards the Sharps and Tidewater area and maybe even up towards Emerton if it holds together. Um, so we're talking about here, this is Route 17, Howerton Road, and that's where the potential circulation is. Um, if you're not watching us from that part of the viewing area, let me give you a little review of the rest of the weather. This is just heavy rain working through central Virginia now. This is badly needed rain. Unfortunately, we don't want the severe weather that has been coming with some of it. But at least the weather moving through central Virginia throughout the I-95 corridor and the metro, this has just been heavy rain. We haven't been seeing really any rotation, any winds over 30 or 40 miles an hour, nothing that would make it severe. And we haven't been really seeing any rotation at all. So this is just non-severe rain and thunder working through the Richmond metro area. These storms have had uh, the potential to produce um, some pretty hefty rainfall totals. In fact, there have been some sections with some of these showers and storms today that have already picked up over an inch of rain. You can see it animating there over the past couple of hours. So um, some of that activity that's been up near Fredericksburg, we've had some spots there that have gotten one to two inches of rain, some heavier rain out by Lynchburg and Farmville, half an inch to an inch there. So some beneficial rain. There are some of you south and east of Richmond that really haven't seen much in the way of rain at all today, but uh, that will be heading towards your way, non-severe weather into southeastern Virginia. But the main action that we're watching right now is this circulation moving right around Oakley. It's crossing Route 17, heading towards Sharps and over into the northern neck. So this circulation we've been watching for a little while here, it's still showing up in the radar velocities right over Route 17. And I'm just gonna back it up a couple frames here. So this is kind of moving 
It looks like the last couple of frames now it's moving almost due east and had one update coming out in here. So it looks like the weather service is expanding the severe thunderstorm warning around it. So not sure if they're going to discontinue the tornado warning early and just leave it as a severe thunderstorm warning or they've kind of surrounded it to get the rest of what's going on with this thunderstorm complex. But uh, this is moving eastward at about 35 miles an hour. So we'll take the rotation this way. And if it holds together, the potential rotation getting to Downings by 734 um, and by about Alfonso by 743. I think based upon what's been going on, it'll probably weaken between now and then. But uh, that's at least where the rotation is now. Um, right over Route 17, right near Oakley currently. So that's where the rotation is and heading towards Sharps um, and Maratico. It's going to cross the water there and head over towards the northern neck. So if you're watching us from the southern part of the northern neck, that's where the tornado warning is still in effect. And we have this potential circulation at the tail end of this thunderstorm complex right there where you see that hook developing. I'll widen on out just a little bit. That is part of a complex of storms working through the northern neck. And let me just click on over here and so these are thunderstorm warnings. They've been extended up towards Montrose and Coles Point and Kinsale. It includes Tappahannock, Warsaw, and Lottsburg, but we still have the tornado warning now from right near Oakley over towards Sharps, and that includes Farnham. This goes until 745, and the counties included within that, Essex, King and Queen, Middlesex, and Richmond counties. So it's right over 17. It's heading towards Route 3. So that is where the tornado warning is in effect. There are some heavier parts of the storm just north of that. Um, so that's, this is where the severe thunderstorm warning activity is across like Montrose, Kinsale down to Warsaw. This is the severe thunderstorm aspect of it. Possible gusts over 60 miles an hour, uh, maybe some large hail in there, but this is the area here under the tornado warning that we're dealing with the potential circulation with it tracking towards the east at 35 miles an hour. Um, Francis, have you seen anything else come out? I know you're in the National Weather Service chat. Um, um, I, they haven't um, been very talkative right now, but I would look at the uh, severe thunderstorm warning, uh, which includes Montrose and I look at the velocity. Yeah, Newland Havelock there. Yes. Yeah, yes. This is this is another circulation. We were talking about this um, about five ten minutes ago. Um, that is another potential rotation there as well. Um, so that's just a severe thunderstorm warning as of right now, but uh, starting to show some signs on Doppler and it has been the last little while that that has been showing some rotation as well. Thank you, Francis. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, we get uh, sometimes when we're focusing on this, we get a little radar blind and the tornado warning has now just been updated from the National Weather Service. So that severe thunderstorm warning portion of it, that's to include the rest of the squall line that's moving through. The tornado warning right now has just been continued and updated and it's still till 745. Essentially what they did was they took out the part of the warning that's west of Oakley. So this is still pretty similar um, area of real estate under the warning. Um, still goes to 745 and we're talking about Lancaster, Middlesex, Richmond counties. Um, moving away from Essex County in about the next 15, 20 minutes or so? Yes, and actually it was canceled for King and Queen. So if you're in King and Queen, um, that tornado threat is now um, behind you. So yeah, good news. Um, all clear, King and Queen counties, but um, this rotation is where we have a concern, right near Oakley and south of Sharps. And this will continue tracking towards, towards the east. Um, and we're gonna stick with this tornado warning until 745 or until it gets discontinued here. So those of you who live in the northern neck there, north of Jamaica, over towards Farnham and over by Lancaster, this is where the tornado warning is in effect. And this is where the potential circulation is right there. It's shown some minor signs of weakening a little bit, but uh, it's still showing up. So that'll continue moving eastward. Those of you that live in Sharps and on the other side of the water there, 
that's where we have um, the circulation and where it's heading. So uh, moving eastward. At 20 miles per hour. 20, 20 miles an hour? Yes, yeah, so it has lost about 15 miles per hour in speed. So. Okay, so 20 miles an hour. There is the updated, and actually let me wipe that off for a second. I want to kind of expand this a little bit. So 20 miles an hour. So those are the times. Let's just mentally cheat them a little bit. So sharp 733. Let's be prepared by 730, um, downing 746, and then eventually uh, moving a little bit farther towards the east by about 755. So we continue to watch that circulation. There's a lot of heavy rain in there, some strong winds, and the potential for a weak tornado in this area right here. It's actually just moved uh, near and ever so slightly southeast of Oakley. It's just north of Jamaica. It is south of Sharps. Um, this trend from the last few minutes, it looks like it's almost going due east now. So a lot of the circulation may go just south of Sharps and may head over um, in the next 15, 20 minutes towards Route 3 here on the uh, other side of the river there. So that tornado warning are now in effect for Essex and it's moving out of most of Essex in the next little while. Lancaster, Middlesex, in Richmond counties until 745. That's where the tornado warning is. A little bit farther north, we have severe thunderstorm warnings. Francis and I have also been watching this area circulation right here, mm -hmm. just south of Montrose and north of Warsaw. Not a tornado warning on that. That is just a severe thunderstorm warning, possibly some winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. But once you take the tornado precautions there as well, because um, when we start seeing these signs, of the rotation developing on radar, um, they can spin up and develop very quickly. So it may look like we're starting to see something increase and then boom, all of a sudden we have a tornado touch down to the ground. We'll take a look at our tornado safety warning precautions again. It's just about 730. You've been watching CBS 6 News at 7. We're going to continue coverage past 730 until the warnings are done. Uh, so we want you to take shelter in a basement or the lowest level possible of your dwelling. Put as much space between you and the outside walls as possible. Use a closet, hallway, bathroom. Essentially, you want to be as far away from the outside walls and away from any glass because what happens is we get these strong winds, the glass breaks, it comes in, so you don't want to be anywhere. If you have something like a good bathroom that would be sturdy shelter, but there is a window there, you may want to take a blanket or something, cover yourself. And if you're in the path of these potential tornadoes and you're watching us from a mobile home and you have time to move to a sturdier shelter, do so now. Um, we don't like to advocate people moving around during tornado warnings, but uh, being in cars and mobile homes exactly where you do not want to be uh, during a tornado warning. So we'll take a review of the Commonwealth right now. A lot of rain heading through central Virginia into eastern Virginia. There hasn't been a lot of thunder and lightning with the stuff in central Virginia right now. We've just been looking at some heavy rain across a lot of the Richmond metro area. This is very beneficial rain. We're down about three inches below normal for the month and about five inches since about uh, March the 1st. So this is some good, much needed rainfall. Hopefully it hasn't come too quickly and caused any flooding issues for where you are. We carry this down through I-85, some rain, the Tri-Cities, down towards Alberta, Dinwiddie, and some heavier rain down into Mecklenburg County, some heavier rain here in Charles City County, also up by Roxbury. This is heading into New Kent. Uh, you folks in King William, the rain has lightened up a little bit, but now more steadier rains coming in, those areas of yellow coming in from the west, moving over 360. And towards the northern neck here, we have multiple Severe thunderstorm warnings, those are the areas in orange there. That includes Coles Point, Montrose, Kinsale, Lottsburg, Warsaw. Also includes Tappahannock. So we're talking about these areas here. I'll highlight the specific counties there for you. Northumberland, Richmond, Westmoreland, and then the other part of this, it also includes Essex, Richmond counties, and then the tornado warning is in effect for Essex, Lancaster, Middlesex, and Richmond. The main thing we're going to be watching for the next little bit will be um, northwestern Lancaster County, southeastern or southwestern Richmond County, because that's where the center of circulation is. In fact, this is the cell we've been monitoring. It's north of Jamaica, east of Oakley, just went through Oakley. The center of circulation has gone uh, south of Sharps 
but there is the potential circulation right there. So Muratico over by Highway 3, uh, Robley, Lively, those areas there just north of Mollusk, those are where we could have this potential uh, tornado and this circulation move over the next 30 minutes or so. Um, I'm looking near Kremlin and I am a little bit concerned this is going to be north of the tornado warning. So there you go, yeah. just south of Montrose heading towards Kremlin. Um, winds near 60 miles per hour, but that's a, I'd say a decent uh, velocity signature. Um, yeah, so um, definitely likely have some winds there near or above 60 miles an hour, um, as Francis pointed out. But we also notice here a few little greenish pixels there. So we are seeing some rotation in this area uh, right near Route 3, just west of Kremlin. And this is moving towards the east as well. Uh, Francis, can you give me a, a, a time on that? Is that 30 miles an hour? Or? Um, that is moving at, uh, sorry, uh, they just reissued or issued a new severe thunderstorm warning. Okay. Um, it is moving east at 30 miles per hour. Okay, so there's the potential circulation. And let me, let me do one thing right here. We normally do the center of circulation for an arrival time of a potential, a potential tornado. I'm gonna scoot it a little east of it because this is where those really strong winds are. So let's track that. So we go east at about 30 miles an hour or so here. So the leading edge of the stronger winds, um, actually the leading edge of the highest winds getting into Kremlin in about the next minute or two, Tucker Hill by 746, Westmoreland 750, and over towards St. George Island by 801. And again, what I was just tracking is this area right here, the center of the strongest winds. Um, if there is a tornado there, this is where the circulation is, just west of Kremlin. So if you're watching us from near Mount Holly, uh, near Kinsale, Westmoreland, those areas there, uh, Highway 202, where we're watching there, and 203 here. So this is where the potential circulation is. And even if there's not a tornado in this circulation, there is definitely some major wind activity going there. Um, if it's not a circulation, if it's not a tornado, if the, if the rotation hasn't worked its way to the ground, uh, definitely the potential for some damaging wind gusts there, 60 miles an hour or higher. So that's a severe thunderstorm warning for that complex of storms. The other area that we're watching down here, and this actually is some good news here because it looks like the last couple scans it looks like some of that rotation is dissipating. So as it crosses the river there, it, this may just be a strong wind event and not a tornado anymore. Um, going back and forth, like right where we were there near Oakley, we had a little bit of a couplet there, a little bit of green, a little bit of red. And now the latest velocity scan, a lot of that has been uh, kind of broadened out and has dissipated at least a little bit. So if you're watching us from that area, uh, still have a tornado warning in effect. Um, this is moving towards like 354. Um, just center circulation just past Highway 17 towards the east, getting ready to cross the river. So still have the tornado warning in effect for another 10 minutes, nine minutes or so. Um, and if the next couple of velocity scans come in looking a little bit better, that tornado warning may expire a few minutes early. Um, so that's where our tornado warning is. It includes these counties on the screen, Essex, Lancaster, Middlesex, and Richmond. But um, the part that we're looking at, Lancaster and Richmond counties, those areas, areas there, that's where the storm is moving to right now. So there's the potential circulation. There's the heavy rain getting ready to cross the river. It's moving towards the Robley area. And then this area, thunderstorm activity towards the north. It's just a severe thunderstorm in terms of the warning but we continue to have a bit of a circulation here right near Kremlin. So if you're watching us from Kremlin, uh, Mount Holly area, Hague, those areas there, Route 202, that is where the circulation is gonna cross in just the next, um, next few minutes actually. Um, so that is a severe thunderstorm warning, not a tornado warning, but there are some signs of rotation. So make sure you take your tornado precautions there in that part of the viewing area. Again, we're kind of focusing here into the northern neck now. 
these cells. The southern cell moving out of the middle peninsula and over into the northern neck. The northern cell is across the northern neck, just to the west of Kinsale, just to the north of Warsaw, northwest of Lotsburg. Um, we also kind of want to point this out because earlier today, we actually had a rotation show up about two o'clock this afternoon in this general location right there. So this may be the second um, possibly tornadic circulation of the day going through roughly uh, the same stretch of real estate there. Um, so even though that's a severe thunderstorm warning, I want you to take tornado precautions into the Westmoreland County area, Kinsale, right near uh, Highway 202. And continue to watch this one down here near Sharps and Moratico. The past couple scans on that, it looks like the rotation is dissipating a decent amount. So we're going to continue with that tornado warning another seven minutes, but that may actually no longer be a tornadic cell anymore. It may just be some damaging wind gusts. We'll take a look at the surface reflectivity there. Heavy rain, of course, winds in excess of 50, 60 miles an hour away from the circulation, but still the potential um, for some winds over 60 miles an hour. We're just getting word from the National Weather Service right now that they're going to expire the tornado warning for Essex, Lancaster, Middlesex, and Richmond County. So this will just be covered by a severe thunderstorm warning from this point forward. So the tornado warning is going to expire in just uh, a moment or so. You'll actually see the orange, uh, the uh, magenta box come off the map. And this cell to the north, the circulation that we're watching near Kremlin, that'll continue crossing 202. That's just a severe thunderstorm warning. We're not dealing with a tornado warning in that area, but um, I'd still take some tornado precautions if you live in the Kremlin area, Hague Route 202, as that storm gets a little bit closer to the coast over the next um, few minutes or so. The tornado circulation that was near Sharps and Moratico, that has been loosening a little bit. So the tornado warning is in the process of expiring. The severe thunderstorm warnings though will continue for a little while longer. So it's all these areas in orange extending from Lancaster up towards Lotsburg, Kinsale, Coles Point, back to Montrose. Uh, still dealing with some severe thunderstorms there, still some pockets of some damaging wind gusts over 60 miles an hour but the uh, tornado warning for that southern storm is in the process of being um, canceled. And we just had an update to the severe thunderstorm warning here, and we'll get you the latest information on that. That is for Northumberland and Westmoreland County. It's for this activity that's just west of Westmoreland. And actually the last scan, this is actually starting to look a little bit better in terms of circulation for some rotation. So we may be dealing with, um, you know, definitely some circulation, possibly a tornado developing in that area right over Highway 3. That's moving eastward. So that's gonna head towards um, the Westmoreland area, just south of Coles Point. Um, so there's the velocity scan from the last 30 minutes. So, I mean, that's still bear some watching there. Um, so we'll continue with the severe thunderstorm warning there. The tornado warning towards the south um, has not come off the map yet. Um, it uh, will be expired, so it'll stay on for the next four minutes. Um, but overall, it looks pretty disorganized. Yeah, I think the river. Yeah, I, I think our tornado risk there um, has dropped. Um, so those of you watching from near Route 3 there, this potential circulation that we had, that is starting to get a little bit better. Um, lesser of a concern for um, some strong rotation, um, but there's still a little something in there. Like just south of the Sharps, there's just still a little bit of a twist in there, just not as much as it was before. And this cell here, moving just north of Kremlin, moving towards Highway 202, Definitely some rotation in there. Um, if it develops any more, this may be our next tornado warning um, as it heads towards Hague and Westmoreland. As of right now, it's just a severe thunderstorm warning, but there's still some pretty decent rotation there. And there's also some really strong um, wind speeds there. The Doppler's measuring it at 60 miles an hour. So if that's translating down to ground level, 
Uh, definitely could have some straight line wind damage there, um, just west of 202 there. And that's just east of Route 3, north of 203. So this is our potential circulation there, right near and just north of Kremlin. The storm that's farther south, um, where the tornado warning has been, that one is looking a little bit better. So let's just do a quick review of what we got going on and then we'll finish things up here. Um, so we have some severe weather in the northern neck. It's for these storms um, that you see here. And then that was the one that's been east of Sharps that we were watching for the tornadic circulation. Everything else is just heavy rain. There hasn't even been a lot of lightning. Um, looks like this initial line of storms zap the atmosphere enough to pull down some of the instability. So we have some heavy rain, Aylet, Doswell, Ashland, Richmond, Mechanicsville, Old Church, um, Southside Richmond, down to near Pocahontas State Park, um, and some really heavy rain right here, right over uh, Belmont Road, right near 150. And a little bit farther south, some heavy rain in the Tri-Cities, a little pocket of heavy rain there just east of Carson. Um, heavy rain down I-95 near Jarrett, Emporia, and back towards uh, southwestern Brunswick County, moving towards Valentine's. Heavy rain Mecklenburg County, not only in the eastern, but the western part of the county as well. Um, and so far... A tornado warning okay. has now been issued. Okay. That's so, we've been watching. So the storm we were watching to the south... This tornado warning is getting ready to expire. There's still some circulation there uh, near Robley. Um, it's been weakening, so that's gonna be pretty much just a severe thunderstorm from this point forward. But now we gotta go back into tornado warning coverage again. For this cell here, that rotation we've been watching um, for about the last half hour, this is really strengthened in the last 30 minutes. You notice here, as I'm stepping through time, all of a sudden, the red gets a little bit darker, green's there. So this is our circulation here, right near Kremlin and Hague, near 202. Um, going a little bit tighter here. Um, so this is just south of Mon Mount Holly. Um, Francis, when you have a second, give me an updated um, movement time on that. East at 25 miles per hour. Okay. So I'm kind of switching between the two radars here. This is kind of in an overlap zone. Um, so there's the circulation. I'm just going to look at it one more time here. Kind of looks a little bit like east northeast. So I'm sorry, you said 30? 25. 25. So many numbers popping through these <laughs> warnings. I'm, I'm sorry, I lost track of that. Um, Acorn 746, Kinsale 756, Westmoreland at 8 o'clock. Um, those are your times of arrival here. Cover up the velocity banner there so you can uh, continue to look at those times of arrival. I live along Highway 202. This cell is heading towards you. Um, right near Kremlin, uh, Kremlin right now, especially on the north side of Kremlin, that's where that rotation is. That's going to cross 202. So that is um, our tornado warning right now. Northumberland and Westmoreland counties here. Um, so it's going to cross 202 shortly. Um, and for those of you that are just tuning on us, 746 CBS 6 here, I'm meteorologist Mike Stone along with Francis Payton right behind me. We'll continue with some severe weather coverage. We've now had three tornado warnings so far today and one storm earlier today that looked like it might have been producing a tornado, so at least four potentially tornadic storms today. This one that we're watching now, Northumberland, Westmoreland counties, the center circulation is right near Kremlin. It's heading towards the east, northeast, um, about 20, 25 miles an hour. If you're just tuning in, want to review this, I know we go through this a lot of times, but when there's a tornado warning and it's for you, sometimes you don't remember everything. So you want the lowest level possible. You have a basement, great. If you don't, lowest level you can get to. You want as much space between you and the outside walls as possible. Stay away from glass. If you have like an interior hallway, 
that doesn't have a lot of stuff around it, interior hallway, maybe a uh, sturdier bathroom, especially if it's underneath like a staircase, like one of those that's in the triangular part underneath the staircase, that is a good place. Uh, an interior closet, if you, if you can get into a sturdy location like that and away from glass, that is a good shelter there. If you're watching us from an area that's maybe like an apartment community, want to get to the lowest level you can get to, maybe this is time to make friends with people on floor number one. Or if you have the chance to go maybe to a neighboring building that has a basement laundry, there you go. Where you don't want to be is in a mobile home. If this is heading towards you in the northern neck and you have time to get out of a mobile home, if you have time to get out, you want to get some sturdier shelter, a nearby store, um, nearby school, library, um, uh, maybe um, just something that's open, or if you can just get to something just a little bit sturdier, if you have an area where you are that has a designated shelter, now's the time to get there. The rain that's behind this is not severe. Richmond metro area down towards the Tri-Cities, we've just been dealing with heavy rain. A couple rumbles of thunder, but most of this is just rain. It hasn't been severe weather at all, or even thunderstorms. But the main zone of activity right now is right here in the northern neck. We've had two areas of concern. This first one to the south, right here, it passed Sharps, it's just southeast of Farnham. The velocity on that has kind of dissipated quite a bit. We're just looking at essentially just a strong thunderstorm there with damaging wind gusts. But we go farther north, and this is where the tornado warning is, and especially we're getting into Westmoreland County now. This thing is actually, it looks like it's sped up a tiny little bit, crossing over 202 right now. There's where 202 is. And um, sometimes hard to see with this mapping here. This is the coastline right here. So we have just a little while longer before it moves off land and over the open water. But this tornado warning, the other one that we had to the south was until 745. That was canceled early, it's, it, it's, it's done. Uh, this one, Northumberland County, Westmoreland County, especially over the next 15 minutes or so, that's where the tornado warning is. is until 815, this may be out over the water by then, if not a little bit before then. But um, the center of circulation right now, near Hague, um, and this is the zone where we're kind of in, in between two radars. So kind of switch back and forth so we get a little different velocity view. This one radar definitely showing a high punch of velocity here, 50, 60 miles an hour. And if we switch to the other radar perspective, this is where we have a little bit better indication of the rotation right here. In fact, it's right near and just south of Hague, right over 202, tracking to the east. It looks like it's gonna go um, near Westmoreland, uh, city of Westmoreland, and maybe just a tiny bit to the north, northwest of Westmoreland. That's where the circulation is now. Um, in terms of what's going on, in terms of severe weather, this is the main event here across the northern neck. Um, I'll take this colorful stuff off and just switch over to the warnings. So the orange there are severe thunderstorm warnings. The magenta, that's where the tornado warning is. And again, this area right here, right over 202. This is how the thunderstorm looks on radar, showing you the rain and whatnot. And what we look for here is kind of like this notch. It almost looks like a little hook there, almost like we're gonna draw like a number six, like that. That's where we watch this part of the storm right here. And when we switch to velocities, you can see that's the same location that we've been dealing with that. And since these are far away from the radar, radar beam shooting a little bit higher, um, I'd even probably based upon the reflectivity, even cheat this center of circulation a little farther southeast. I think it's kind of in this neighborhood right here. Um, so not too much longer before it goes over the, the water there. It's getting close to the coast right now. If you're watching us from the city of Westmoreland, you need to take tornado precautions right now. Just did a new update on this. Um, it's continuing uh, the tornado warning until 815 for Northumberland and Westmoreland. Um, got any update on speed of movement? And uh, still moving at the same east at 25 miles per hour. Okay. Um, so... I think they just edited the polygon to exclude uh, Mount Holly and Kremlin. Okay, gotcha. Um, so 
here's where the potential center of circulation is and take it off towards the east and it's not going to be too much longer before this is over the water. So um, essentially it's moving into Westmoreland, city of Westmoreland right now, St. George Island by 809 and it's going to be off the, the, the coast. So uh, you can actually see the radar where St. George Island is there marked with the blue dot. So um, I kind of think 756, 758, this might be out over the water um, and it won't be a threat anymore. Um, I do want to show you the state view. A lot of this has been rain, been getting a lot of severe weather reports, even a funnel cloud reported out near Lynchburg. But we've had a few different waves of thunderstorms come through, one around two o'clock and then a few this evening and anywhere we see an icon there, that's where we have reports of wind damage. So had one there. Um, this was from the storm that came through around 212 that we tracked for you that showed some rotations. So there might have even been a weak tornado developing in that cell there too. So that was at 212 right there. This one here, Lotsburg, 335. So that was the second batch. And now some of this stuff is coming in. Um, these are the storms that we've just been watching. So this one just came in uh, tree down near Ashdale Road at 721. So three different waves of thunderstorms over the last uh, five and a half, six hours. So we continue with the tornado warning. Again, now it is pretty much for Westmoreland County here. Little sliver goes down to Lewisetta there, but um, the circulation with this cell is, is really up by Westmoreland. So the tornado warning goes down to just near Lewisetta, but this is the area of concern right here and it's gonna move over the water shortly. So that tornado warning goes um, 8.15, so another 22 minutes. But I think for all intents and purposes, for our friends and family up there in the Northern Neck, this will be done by eight o'clock. Just need to get through about the next five, six minutes or so. Watching from Westmoreland, City of Westmoreland, take your tornado precautions now, lowest level away from outside walls and glass. Um, this storm has shown a circulation since, um, when we start that, 705-ish? I would say. Yeah, 7, 705. So um, we're watching both of these circulations for almost the past hour. The one to the south, which is now almost outside of the severe thunderstorm warning polygon there, Heastville down to Lancaster heading towards Burgess. Uh, just a punch of strong winds there, 50, 60 miles an hour, maybe some higher gusts than that. The storm here to the north that we've had the tornado warning on right near Westmoreland. It is just about at the coast now. So if you're watching us from Westmoreland, few more minutes and it will be offshore. Make sure you take those tornado precautions. The rest of the state, it's just been heavy rain. Past few hours, there has been a little bit of thunder and lightning over the last hour. Um, and even though we haven't had severe weather, we've had some pretty heavy rainfall. Some areas, one, two inches or more. Very beneficial rainfall, we're way below normal, about three inches below normal for the month, about five inches below normal since March the 1st. Some heavy rain moving into the middle peninsula now, that is not severe, just heavy rain. And here, some of the heaviest rain, just moving out of downtown Richmond, over towards Mechanicsville, Highland Springs, the airport, Verina. There's the heavy rain near um, Petersburg, Hopewell area. Then we follow farther southward, heavier rain moving into Yale right now, not seeing a lot of lightning with this. Heavy rain near Triplett, and then back towards Boynton there, Route 58. So still a couple more hours of some heavy rain to get through, especially east of I-95. But this tornadic cell here, uh, the radar scan is now showing that it has pretty much moved um, off the coast and over the water now. So. Um, Coastline area, I think you're going to be good to go in about the next minute or two. We'll be in the clear. We're going to wrap up the coverage here. If we have anything more to pass along, stay here to CBS 6. We'll keep you ahead of the storm. Coverage you can count on, all that kind of stuff. We'll have more at WTVR.com. I'm meteorologist Mike Stone with Francis Payton. Have a good night. We'll have our normal programming resuming in just a moment.